ready for some cold hard truth at some stage in your business to see growth and to see real success you're going to have to start outsourcing imagine your working days being filled with only the tasks that you absolutely love doing imagine feeling great about seeing a high quality finish on a job that you would probably only been able to finish to an average level Imagine being able to take a full break at lunchtime to go and eat at a table away from your desk like a real person. I'm Laura Husson from laurahusson.com and I'm here to talk to you today about the art of outsourcing for your business. Now being a pro doesn't mean that you have to wear all the hats in your business. That would be a recipe for failure and you my friend are destined for success. Outsourcing scares the living daylights out of most entrepreneurs. The list of what ifs are endless and handing over the control or the reins to what something that you've built with your own blood, sweat and tears can be terrifying. I understand that feeling. Today, I want to talk to you about the keys to successful outsourcing. There is a secret to this. It is an art form and it doesn't begin by just ripping your business out from your desk and handing it over to somebody you've never met before. The key here is to start small. So my first tip. Hire some personal help. It could be that you need some help around the home. Perhaps you need a cleaner or somebody who can cook for you. Or maybe you need someone to help you walk your dog or a personal trainer. Somebody you can meet in real life, in person, and build a real relationship with that you can begin to trust. Somebody you can talk to about what it is that you actually need. Because it might sound silly, it's not necessarily related to your business, but being able to communicate what it is that we need is the key to successful outsourcing. So if you can do that with somebody on a one-to-one -one situation in your real life, then it migrates and translates really well into your business when you're ready to hand over some of the more important tasks that kind of give you that, Ugh, am I ready to pass this over feeling? The second tip is that from this point where you've practiced this relationship and trusting somebody to help you with something you need help with, you can now move on and start to hand out some of the menial tasks in your job or in your work that prevent you from being able to work fully in the thing that it is that brought you into business in the first place. Perhaps you need a bookkeeper, an accountant, somebody to check your email box for you, somebody to write your newsletters, perhaps you need somebody to edit your videos, perhaps you need somebody to help you with your social media. The list is endless. I have people that help me with all kinds of things, including the editing of this video, and that's because I want to be able to focus on doing the best job I can to give the people, my audience, you, the best that I've got to offer. And with me sitting at my desk all day every day trying to do everything myself, I'm never going to be able to do that. I have to have help in order to make it work. So the best way to go about doing this and starting to identify the things that you can outsource without risking everything is to get a pen and paper. Go and do it right now. Grab a pen and paper. Pause the video if you need to and write a list down of all the things you do in your working day. Perhaps you're halfway through a working day right now. Just stop for a moment and think about every single thing you've done at your desk or wherever it is that you work right now to get you to whatever it is you're trying to create. All the things that are on a must do to do list that you need to get done. Write them all down. Now that you've got those written down, I'd like you to mark the ones, either circle them or put a star next to them, whatever it is that works for you. Write down or mark out the ones that you could actually hand over to somebody else, the ones that make you roll your eyes. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones you think, oh gosh, I've been putting that off, but I know I have to do it. Those things, go and mark those things. They're the things that you can outsource. Now, I use Elance to source my freelancers, and I've had good and bad experiences, but I'm here to reassure you that you can have a completely positive experience if you work on personal recommendation. So for example, I've hired coders, designers, people to help me with Photoshop, uh, vi virtual assistants, you name it. I've hired lots of people from Elance and other places. And the way that I've had the best success with that is by asking people who I know, who I work with, have you used anybody from Elance or another freelancing place where I can source people? Have you used anybody you've had a good experience with? And nine times out of 10, somebody in my network is able to say, oh, I've got a great contact for you. They send me a link, I go and check out their profile, and I invite them to come and do a job for me. And I start small. I don't give them the keys to the kingdom straight away. I start with one tiny no risk, it might even be an example experiment, 
um, something that they can just show me what they've got. And if it's good, it's a low risk. And if it's good, then that's great. And I can move on and give them more meaty tasks to get on with. If it's not so good, then I haven't really lost anything. And I can move on and try somebody else. Now that sounds like it might be an ongoing process, but I can guarantee you, you will hit lucky with this. And the feeling, imagine like going back to those points at the beginning, just being able to take a lunch break because you're not working through a massive list of things that you don't really love doing and being able to just be free to finish work early if you want to or to reply to an email that you've been meaning to reply to for ages. Imagine how much extra time you will have in your working week if you pass these tasks over. It doesn't have to be expensive either. Freelancers work from anything from 10 US dollars up to 500 US dollars, the sky's the limit. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you get what you pay for. Expensive isn't always the best option. It might be that you get someone who's fresh out of design school or some kind of training, or they haven't quite got around to building their own business that yet. And the opportunity that you're giving these people is that you're passing them the task that you're not really great at or that you really want to have some help with, allows somebody else to take that first step in their journey of building their business or building their portfolio or their experience. So it's a really positive thing to outsource. Now, in the comments below, I would love you to share your list with me. Tell me the things that you could outsource that wouldn't be risking everything in your business. Be brave, share them below, and tell me what your biggest fear is about outsourcing. If we want to help you buzz through this, make more time in your day and feel really great about the role that you play in your business.